we've set up a simple way for you to give to our church online. If you want to give a quick gift, enter an amount, select a fund, then enter your email address and your first and last name. Then enter your payment details and click Give. And that's it. We'll send a receipt to your email address. To use a saved payment method or manage a recurring donation, you'll want to log in. Click the Login button and we'll send a code to your phone or email account. Verify the code and you're in. Now your payment info is ready to go when you want to make a donation. To manage your giving details, switch over to the My Giving page. Here you'll see more ways you can give. You can also add a payment method, like a bank account or a debit card, set up a recurring donation, and view your giving history. So good to be with you today and to be able to have this time as we call this time together in the Word. I want to share and speak to you from the Word of the Lord this day <clears throat> and with this time together, I feel in my heart to share with you. I believe, I know the Word of the Lord is really current for us in what year or generation that we may be living our life in. I believe God's timing is perfect. I believe God's place for when we should be here and the way that we are and the opportunity upon His calling in our lives and our response to Him makes all the difference in the world and that He has placed us I guess it's like what is spoken to the one from the book of uh, that, that we can recognize in Esther, the queen, when uh, she said or she was told, you know, that the Lord has brought you here for a time such as this. Well, I believe for you and me, that is spoken today as well. I believe the Lord is speaking that our time is now that it is current and that we should be able to go forward. So as we enter into the word of the Lord, I want to highlight an area because I believe as we have given this title, what I feel that is a word from the Lord, that your time is now. Well, with that, <clears throat> we certainly believe that God is able to still make a way even if it seemed like there is no way. But the reason why he can make a way is because he is the way. Amen? And to give God praise. Oh, already sensing his presence, already sensing his work being done in our lives today. And I'm thankful for that. I give God praise for that. In John, the fifth chapter, beginning with verse 1, it's interesting what is taking place here in Jerusalem. And it says in verse one, after this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate. A pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethsaida having five porches, in these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made, made well of whatever disease he had. Let's just stop there a moment. What an amazing moment of time is taking place here in Jerusalem. The amazing area of the Sheep Gate location of the area in Jerusalem, a pool has been placed there. And there they called the pool Bethesda. I've actually had the opportunity to make a few trips to Israel 
And we would, on each time that we were able to make that trip, with a group of all the individuals that was able to go with us. We would go to this location during our journey and tour there of the land. We would come to this location in Jerusalem and they have actually uh, been able to unearth or to come to that place and find the actual pool of Bethesda still there and uncovered it and while they uncovered it we found that it is actually over 40 feet deep in that depth of it what a massive place with porches and steps down into it and you can just see it was just not a small little pool this was massive and the reason I'm sharing it with you is because what we would do of what took place that we are here to take a look at through the word of the Lord. We ourselves would have a prayer for people that was sick there at the pool of Bethesda. But we were praying in the name of Jesus for their healing. And so we would do and what we would call having a prayer line. We would get the ones that wanted prayer to line up there beside the pool of Bethesda. We, the ministers, would stand on each side and let them walk between us as we would pray for them. And I'm so thankful today that God's able to show up. Here, it's sad that when the moving of the water was being done by an angel that went down at a certain time into the pool and it stirred up the water then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever diseases he had wow so here it is a certain time and then the healing but the thing is, is that whoever stepped in first. In other words, not everyone was healed. Just only the one that seemed to get ahead of all the others. And then it says in verse 5, Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? <laughs> wow. You would think there's no need of that question. Have you ever had someone ask you a question that you thought? Aren't you a little extreme? Don't you know? Without even having to ask this question, the answer, you know what I am here for? Can't you see my situation and my circumstance? It's interesting today that the Lord still posed this question. And when he asked the man, of course, the man's answer to him in verse 7, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. How many of you today, the reason the Lord, I believe, has brought us together for this time, how many of you today feel like that everyone else is getting your blessing, your healing? Everyone else seems to be just stepping ahead of you, breaking in line in front of you, if you please. You feel like today that you are under more of a curse than a blessing. Well, I guess that could bring in several different ones that would be receiving this and feeling that way. But here comes the Lord to let the man know that really his time was then. It wasn't necessarily just having to wait any longer for his healing because... When Jesus came, when the Lord showed up, I'm sensing this so strong today for you and for me. 
When the Lord showed up, Jesus knew why he asked the question. He wasn't trying to just get the man stirred up only, but he wanted the man to see what he was able to do. Because Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. He didn't ask him about his life's history. He didn't ask him the good, the bad, the ugly, the right, the wrong. He just came to know that in this individual's life, that man was doing everything he could to make it. He went to the place to get the best help. The best help he felt available that day was there at the Pool of Bethesda. At least laying there as close as he could. He was giving himself a chance. Now hear me. He was giving himself a chance. There's a lot of people today that want to give up. There's ones today that just want to, what's the cliche, throw in the towel. They just want to somehow get out of this life. But I believe we need to understand that while we are as this man at the place you are doing, perhaps you feel like the best you can. But I've come to tell you, but Jesus. Jesus showed up to this man. This man didn't know he was a healer. He didn't know he was a savior. He didn't know he could provide. He didn't know that he could offer. He didn't know that he was going to walk away that day a completely changed, healed, whole man. But what I come to tell you is that Jesus is not only passing by, Jesus has arrived. And when Jesus arrived, your time is now. What the man was waiting on, he didn't know with Jesus coming into his presence until Jesus spoke the words of life and the words of healing. And I believe today Jesus is speaking those words of life and healing for you and deliverance and salvation. He is speaking it for you today. But we have to do what the man did. We've got to take the immediate moment, the immediate step. We've got to step in because our time is now. It's not just only come, but it is now. You take this moment with me today and understand and hear what I feel the Lord is speaking is that if you will respond with this immediate flow, this immediate answer, this immediate moment, and understand that the Lord is who He is saying He is by saying, Rise, take up your bed and walk. In other words, no longer. You're going to even have to wait. You're not going to have to wait till the water is stirred. You're not going to have to wait till you attempt to get to your healing or achieve what you are trying and to accomplish it. You can't do this on your own. In fact, the first person that got into the water, they didn't do it on their own. It was the angel that was stirring the water. And I need to tell you, you can't do this on your own either. No one there could. And you cannot either. And so all we can do today is look to the Lord, lean upon Him, and understand that He is our immediate source of help. He is our immediate answer of direction. He is the immediate way and the truth and the life. We know His Word is speaking ever so clearly as John 10.10 10 says, Oh, Father, I feel right now through you I need to pray for these people. God, that there's going to be an immediate flow. Church, let's pray. Okay, Father, I come to you right now. I know that you're moving. I know that you're healing. I know you're delivering. I know you're making a way. Now, Lord, you have entered in. I believe this is an immediate moment for many. And Lord, we are believing right now that you are stretching forth your hand. And Lord, as you walked up to this individual, they did not know the healer had showed up. Lord, maybe there's ones today that didn't know that their deliverance has come and that it has become a, an immediate release. But this very moment of agreement, this very moment of your word, we believe that their time has come and it is now and it is forever present and they're going to walk away or move from this moment together, changed, delivered, healed completely as this man was when you said, right. 
eyes. Take up your bed and walk. And you said through your word immediately. Immediately the man was made well. He took up his bed and walked. I've come to tell you. I believe the answer of the Lord has just been fulfilled. Has just healed. Has just delivered. Has just set the captive free. I believe with all of my heart that your moment has come. I don't believe I have to take too much more of your time today. I know sometimes these times are maybe brief. But can I tell you all it takes for the Lord is an immediate moment. An immediate moment for just what took place for this man at the pool of Bethesda. He didn't. He found out that his healing came to him. He didn't have to go to it. He found out that what he needed had arrived. He didn't have to wait. And I'm here to tell you right now, I believe for many, you're not going to have to wait any longer. It has already happened in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you today is my prayer as I close this time together. What a blessed moment of an immediate response that the Lord has provided. Because your time is now. God bless you. We look forward to hear from you. Would you share this message and let others hear it as well? And then let us know. Let us know what the Lord's doing. Go on our website, eastoncog.org. There's much information I know that they give you at the beginning and even at the end of this. But listen, Jesus loves you. God bless you today is my prayer.